Good morning everyone. Today I was going to do one day of exactly what it's like being on the water in the middle of nowhere. Just to give you a detailed look at what it's like. So that's where I slept in the saloon last night and Elaine has woken up. Good morning. Oh, you've got oil in your mouth. Okay. She does that sometimes. Downstairs into the bathroom. It's a bit rocky. Oh, we need water first. From afar up the sat phone. Now I've got to figure out where we're going, how fast and why. I will download some weather for today and then decide whether we're going to jibe and head south after I charge my computer. Hang on. So I have to find out where I am on the chart plotter and then plug those details into the computer so that when I do my weather routing, Predict Wind will say, okay, you're here and we think that you should go here or here or all over the place to get to your destination in the most comfortable, most speedy conditions. So that's a very small file size because that's the way they make it. Make it easy to, to download, so I'll let that download over the next 20 minutes or half hour and we're going to go watch the sunrise, Alana. What are you doing, reading your book? Whilst I'm outside, I'll usually have a walk around and check out the sails and the rigging, make sure they're all okay, there's no wear and tear or anything like that. Given the uh, amount of wind and the conditions that we've got, normally we'd have way more sail up and and you know that's what you're supposed to do but just because of the because of my neck and everything that's uh well no just because of my neck we're just taking everything really super duper uh conservatively what this is is a cable tie that attaches a. I left the door open. What this is, is it's a cable tie which goes through a shackle, making sure that it doesn't unscrew. Um, so I just found that as I was walking around the deck. So there's a shackle somewhere which could eventually uh, come undone. So I'll have to go and try and find that later on. Lena? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want from me? Coffee and breakfast. I'd love it if you ate oatmeal. It's so easy, but Rally always wants a toasted sandwich. And you got to toast it first, put the cheese inside, then open it up later and place all the other ingredients in there. Big night on night shift, mate, you know. <laughs> Righto, what have you got? Toast and sandwich, beans, and the last of the lettuce, so eat it wisely. <laughs> Amazing, thank you. No worries. Tell everyone how good I am. Woohoo! This is nice breakfast. <laughs> So I've just got the weather downloaded and um, it's it's pretty much the same. It's been the same for the whole trip, but it's going to just swing north a little bit, which will allow us to go south, which means that um, we'll get a better angle on our destination. So I'll just show you. So 
So basically we've gone far enough north and with the weather changing a little bit, we're gonna head south. Boop. There's still clinks. Even on a catamaran, there's still clinks. I spend a lot of my time Okay. Do you reckon we'll surf this one again, Pants? I can't hear you, Get darling. Giddy up! I'm working. We've been surfing a few waves at about more 15 knots. You're so no annoying when you're daily vlogging. Are you? Oh. Look at that. We've got a few of everything, Pants. Apparently so. What are you doing? <laughs> Are you writing your book? Yes, indeed I am. It's some meditative music to help keep me on track, but yet I still seem to hear you through the music. There's a cloud behind us over here that is, um, it's going to miss us because it's going too fast, but it's just creating all of this swell here. Because some of these waves are quite steep, we've been surfing a fair bit, so I've just come out to maybe film some of them. Sleeping, and I don't think heaven would want me. I talk to God, but the sky is empty, and I don't think you could. Yeah, camera can never get the waves good enough. As we've been heading further west. It's um, been getting warmer and warmer. And I think the further across, the more of that weed you get and the more chance you are of um, getting one of those Dorado. We've been getting sargassum, the weed caught in the, uh, in the hook, so I've been checking them pretty regularly. So like I said at the start, this was just sort of to give you guys a feeling as to what it would be like to spend one day on the water, like what I do and what I go through, what I, what the stuff that I do. So this is mainly just some stuff that I put together as like an extra. Um, it's certainly not a numbered episode, um, so we won't be charging our patrons for it or anything like that. But actually, Elena, how long before you think I can make a ridgy ditch proper episode? Episode. I'm getting pretty good. Uh, made those two with me and her maid. Yeah. I've got my transitions going pretty nicely. You're pretty good, babe. I think maybe a little bit more practice. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just keep plugging away back here. I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> I like getting behind the wheel as well because you can really feel, get a feel for the boat and the ocean and the sails and you learn a lot just being here. So It's like meditation, I would say. For sure, whilst learning, which is impossible. <laughs> but um, yeah, obviously we would do a lot more sail changes and be going a bit harder if I didn't have my neck. So it is a bit different in terms of that, but I feel like that's a reasonable summation of a day. Elena, there's a triangle in the cloud. Really? Look. Oh, wow. What the That's hell? crazy. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it looks pretty awesome. So yeah, if you if you like that video, give it a thumbs up. If you <laughs> if you um, want to see more, let me know. If you don't, let me know as well, because I mean, it's no skin off my nose. I'll just stop doing it. And um, yeah, cool. Hope you enjoyed it. No worries, take it easy. Woo! <laughs>